Hi, welcome back to the Rural Project. So today we're going to take wood from the shed and fill the trailer and I'm going to take wood from the trailer and create a new wood store. Now I've only got three hours here today so uh, let's get to it. So as you just heard in the intro I've got a few jobs ahead of me today. I've only got a few hours here at the land and a firewood delivery booked in for late this afternoon. So uh, let's get into filling this trailer up. So filling this up, just so the water line is uh, two cubic metres. Well, you can certainly see this wood's beautiful and dry. That is the sound of dry wood. So, there's the trailer fully loaded, so there's two cubes in there. So we'll get the cover on and uh, pull this out of the way and then start the next job. Cover going on in three, two, one. So cover's on now, so uh, let's get put this pulled out of the way and then we'll, uh, we'll start work on the next job today which is building the wood store down there and uh, getting that trailer unloaded. So the job now, so we're going to use these, these better blocks and build ourselves a wood store just in here. So we'll get the, uh, get the camera rolling while I build it so I'll be doing it a little bit different to normal, as you've seen in the other videos. I've quite often built the uh, built the wood store, but this time, uh, yeah, I'll use the better blocks. I've done it once already, and uh, I've got to say I think it's a, a fair bit easier. It costs about three dollars fifty for those better blocks, and uh, they'll last a long, long time. So we'll start getting them set up. Once it's set up, I'll then uh, yeah start loading in the uh, loading in the firewood rounds. Now from my timber supplies, a scrap bit of wood, I've got to work out what I'm going to use for the sloping pieces. And I'm thinking and hoping that some of these posts will work. I mean, scrap posts that have sat around for a long time, so let's give them a try. I'll put them in, see if I can get, uh, get a couple of them to work. Yeah, they'll be fine. You can see very long, but then um, that's okay. I'll cut them down once I've got the wood store at the right height. So they'll uh, they'll be okay, but they only need to be maybe half the height they are now. We'll grab a saw and just cut these in half and get them put in. Let's uh, let's do that. Four pieces meter long a few bits of scrap and uh, these two pieces for the other side okay, so now what I need to do is put the members in that's going to go across the uh, across the middle now looking at the scrap timber that I've got normally I use this stuff just with a Treated pine. Um, I think I've got a fair bit of that down at the bottom of the hill, bottom of Slipper Hill from the ones that I've used in the past. But I'll pull out the pieces I've got here, play them out, and see what I need. Even if I end up putting some breeze blocks in between and making out multiple pieces, that's actually fine.
So that's what I've got on the first one. There's just a small gap in the middle, so obviously I'll bring that bring that end in closer. Keep that end where it is, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be able to make one of these very quickly and simply with uh, just the materials I've got here as scrap, without having to go down slippery. Here. Okay, so that's that one built. As you can see, the uh, logs on the end they'll all firm up. Once we get some uh, firewood in here, let's start taking some of the rounds, putting them in place, and uh, eventually, on the, once this is full, I'll get a timber sheet on the top of here to keep the rain off. And hopefully, thought process is this will sit through this winter and through next summer. And then, when I need any firewood next winter, I can back the uh, back the log splitter, back the trailer in here, and take them straight off straight off this stand and uh, split them and sell them straight away. We'll have to see how it goes because I've yeah I've had some uh, some rounds in that sat in the past and they take uh, take more than more than a year to dry out but we'll uh, we'll just try it with this one. So let's get that trailer get the back of the trailer lower down and uh, start loading up with firewood. Wood was just a little bit too rotten. So I'll, uh, I'll do. I'll just put another, put another support under the middle and just start again. So wood stack filling, take two. You can see what I've done there. Stuck a, stuck a support where it had broken, and then uh, stuck an additional one in there. That's a longer span, and just put one across the middle. There's a small gap on this close one. But I'm sure as it starts to. Uh, get way down that'll that'll flex and just touch onto the breeze block at the back there there's a decent gap so I'll just put a pack of piece under it okay so take two of filling the wood stack That is high enough. There's a lot of wood in there. Oh, as you can see the top's pretty uneven. What I do want it to do is be higher in the middle and the outside so we can get the water running off. And I put the tin sheets on. So the last thing I want is to have a dip in the middle and all the water wet the, uh, wet the wood in the centre. So I will sort of reprofile that a little bit. There's a bit of timber left in here. What I'm thinking is obviously a bit of timber down down on the floor here as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting getting the axe, seeing if I can split a few of these into some of these big ones into quarters, and then uh, yeah, kind of re repack that top layer a bit and then get the tin sheet on. So let's go get the axe. Let's get a few of these split and uh, see how I go. This is hard. I 
That is some seriously hard wood. Crack. Crack across the middle there. See if I can work that crack. See if I can break off a few pieces off the edges. If not, chainsaw out. Holy cow! Well, it certainly ain't no pine. This could well be one of the uh, on the river reds, on the red gums. Whew, certainly got my hat pounding. Right, but it's time for. Well, sorry, before I do that, see the difference between this wood, the wavy grain, and the coloration compared to the yellow box. Right, let's get the chainsaw out and sort of uh, yeah, cut this into four and we'll get it stacked that way. Otherwise I'm gonna end up having a having an injury. Right, let's uh, let's get it cut up with a chainsaw. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few of these logs. Got the uh, the PPE back on. And uh, yeah, filled up the chainsaw with fuel and put some more oil in it. So I think I'll be doing a bit of cutting now. So let's uh, let's work our way through these big logs. Saw so today three six two. For no other reason than it was the one closest in the shed.
362 was struggling a little bit through that hardwood. So it's time to uh, time to get out the Farmatec 660 and uh, work my way through the rest of this. So there's another another log here, same thing. It's a uh, red gum or river red. So we'll uh, yeah we'll noodle our way through that with the MS660 from Farmatec, and uh, you should see the difference. perfect example of the additional power that you get with a, with a bigger saw. So the 362 had a really sharp chain, I sharpened it last night ready for today. The 660 did a bit of work last week so the chain's not as sharp as it should be but still I put it into that block and um, started cutting. I realised this chain wasn't that sharp but still just dug the uh, Dug the spikes in there and just just pulled the saw through, give it a bit more pressure than I would normally, and uh, it never stalled, it never never chattered, it just kept going through. You can see spitting uh, spitting wood shavings everywhere. So that's the uh, that's the big difference. When you get a much more powerful saw, you just get no stalling. But the downside, obviously, is that weighs about twice as much as the 362. All right, I'm going to get the uh, saw going, get the rest of these cut up. I've got to be heading off soon. Right, I shall put this camera back on once I've uh, cut everything into quarters. All the logs now are, uh, are quartered, the ones that need to be quartered. Some of them in half, the slightly smaller ones. I've left a few bits and pieces in here which will go back up to the, the splitting area. So the task now is to uh, yeah, get a couple of tin sheets Get them, uh, get them put on the top, get them tied down, and then we'll uh, see what gaps we've got to fill. Obviously, the, the gap there that possibly needs a couple of logs in, but let's, uh, yeah, let's get the tin sheet on first and see what we've got. So, luckily, these uh, the longer standard spare sheets that I've got are about six meters. So. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's fine, I'll get that stuck on there. It's good not having a join in the middle. So I'll get that stuck on there and then we'll, uh, we'll cut down what we need to. So I think from here you can see it's not too bad. I'll um, go get some rope. We'll get that tied down. There's a couple of spots where I'll put some small pieces of timber, but apart from that, I'm uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. I think it's almost finished. So let's get some rope, tie it down, and then uh, see what I've got left to do.
and there we have it. The wood stack complete. Just trimmed the uh, the end of the tin sheet there. It's not bad at all. That pretty happy with that for a couple of hours of work. So that is certainly going to keep that wood dry. Plenty of air will flow through there, obviously, and dry it out. In summer, this this um, this wall here is actually facing the morning sun. So we've got the morning sun and the afternoon sun. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. I've done loaded up all the bits and pieces into the trailer and we'll put them through the wood splitter in a while. I want to just get this area tidy. And then what I'll also do is I'll bring down some more besser blocks. Very likely with all the wood that we cut the other week. Or I've got stacked on the, uh, the access road. It's very likely that I'm going to need another with a row of uh, timber stored to dry out. Okay, so I'm gonna call it for today. I'm gonna head off, go and uh, deliver that two cubes of firewood to a new customer, one that's just around the corner from me at home. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like and subscribe button, that helps a lot. And I will see you in the next video.